Welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is How Rocket Learned to Read, written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks. He loved to listen to the birds sing. Every fall morning after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There, he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Aha! My first student! Wonderful! She sang. Rocket was confused. Student? I'm not a... But if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh, yes, I can see it, Rocket said, but I don't know how to read. Can't read? Fantastic, she waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. But I just came here to nap, Rocket said. No, no, there will be no napping in class, declared the bird, except, of course, during nap time. Well, then. I can take a nap over here, said Rocket. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry. I'll be around every day, chirped the bird, until the weather turns. As Rocket breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung her banner. Ah, oh, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. Opening up a book, the bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard. At first, Rocket was disturbed. But before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Rocket waited. Was it the bone? He wondered. Silence. Was it the bone? He called to the bird. More silence. Was it the bone? Rocket hollered. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Well, was it? But the little yellow bird was gone. The next morning, Rocket arrived early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Hello. How wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are well rested. I'd like to hear the end of the story, please, said Rocket. That seems like a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. She gave Rocket a name tag and began to read. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter, until he had learned all of the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelled the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spelled Mr. Barker's growl. Grrr! They spelled the sound of the wind, which was growing colder by the day. Whoosh! Soon, they were spelling words like F-A-L-L, -L, fall, for the gusty time of year, and R-E-D, red, for the color of the leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day, the weather turned, and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, the bird sang. And as she flew into the wintry sky, she called out, Don't forget, words are built one letter at a time. The days grew shorter, and the leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon, Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his letters. 
Rocket thought about the bird's squeak chirp while he sounded out words like D-I-G, dig, and W-I-N-D, wind, and C-O-L-D, cold. He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, E-M-M-A, Emma. Hi there, F-R-E-D, Fred. He spelled everything. S-U-N, sun. M-E-L-T, melt. When Rocket spelled M-U-D, mud, he knew that spring, as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. Class starts tomorrow. Early the next morning, Rocket rushed to his classroom. As he waited, he spelled W-A-G, wag. Soon, the little yellow bird arrived. Aha, my star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. Welcome back, Rocket. Then together they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog who found his bone under the lilac bush. And when they were done, they read it again. And again. And A-G-A-I-N. Again. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.